This is uh, Block 8, Pax Americana, Section 6, Seeds of the Civil Right Movement, with the section beginning with Martin Luther King Jr. If you don't know the story of Dr. King, you ought to. Uh, he is born uh, the son of a well-known preacher. He is raised in the church himself. He had a flair for the written word and even more so a flair for the spoken word. A moral leader unlike, or I can't say unlike any that the United States has ever seen, but he is at the very top tier of great moral leaders in American history and one of the most important Americans of the 20th century and one of the most important Americans in all of our history. He comes to, uh, to be well known through his leadership uh, in the Montgomery bus boycott and after that he went to on to found what was called the Southern Christian Leadership Conference or the SCLC and the SCLC is going to play a key role in the civil rights movement of the 1960s. Martin Luther King is a religious man. He is a man raised in the church and throughout his writings and his speakings the teaching of, of Christ and Christianity come forth all the time. And what King's genius move was, was to turn the only organization that blacks really had in the South or had in vast numbers. There was black trade unions, there was black professional uh, fraternities, but almost all black citizens in the South went to church. And the churches were highly organized. They were instruments of social policy, community policy, economic policy. And the SCLC, founded by Martin Luther King, mobilized the blacks of the South through their churches that uh, ex ex exhorted by their preachers, encouraged by their ministers, um, black people in the South began to actively agitate for the rights that were their due. Why the churches? Like we said, it's institutions that almost all blacks in the South belong to. They are large, they are well organized, and they are relatively wealthy. The SCLC, founded by King, is going to play a key role in the protests, marches, arguments, legislation, and victories of the decade to come. And that is, in part, the gift of Martin Luther King uh, to the United States.